Now let's do some problems of the harmonic Fourier series. We're going to take some problems and we'll do their harmonic analysis. Example number one. Find the Fourier expansion of the given table up to first harmonic. If this is the given table, where the number of points starts from 0 up to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and the y values are 2, 4, 7, 5. We want to find the Fourier expansion of this table up to first harmonic. So the formula for the first harmonic Fourier series is f of x equals to a sub naught plus a sub 1 times cos theta plus b sub 1 times sine theta. This is the equation for the first harmonic Fourier series. Because the question asks that find the Fourier expansion up to first harmonic. If they ask up to second harmonic, then you have to apply the equation of the second harmonic Fourier series. If they ask up to third harmonic, then you're going to put the equation of third harmonic Fourier series. But since it asks that find the Fourier series up to first harmonic, therefore I'm going to put first harmonic Fourier series. Now according to the given table, these are my points 0, 1, 2, 3. These are my y values 2, 4, 7, 5. These are my theta because I have cos theta, sin theta, so I need theta as well. Theta has not been given in the table. How are we going to find the theta? We are going to find the theta in such a way that the total number of degrees are 360. So we are going to divide by 4, it equals to 90. Look, in the given table, only n and y values have been given. Theta has not been mentioned. We need theta because we have cos theta and sin theta. We are going to find the theta from this method that the total number of degrees are 360. 360 is the total number of degrees. So how many points we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember, it starts from 0 up to 3. So there are 4 points, not 3. Remember, you have to count the 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 points. If n equals to 4, you're going to divide 360 by 4. If n equals to 5, you're going to divide 360 by 5. If n equals to 6, you're going to divide 360 by 6. Since we have n equals to 4, therefore we're going to divide 360 by 4. So 360 divided by 4 equals to 90. There I got the value of theta. So theta equals to 90. The theta for 0 will be 0 because 0 times theta will be 0. Remember the values of the theta will be the multiplication of 90 with the n values. Look, my degree is 90. You have to multiply 90 with the respective n values. Like theta for 0 will be 0 because 0 times 90 will be 0. Theta for 1 will be 90 because 90 times 1 is 90. Theta for 2 will be 180 because 90 times 2 will be 180. Theta for 3 will be 270 because 90 times 3 will be 270. Don't forget to multiply this 90 with the respective number of points. Not with the y points, with the n points. You cannot put 180 here when you multiply 90 by 2. You have to multiply it by the n points, not with the y points. What will be my y times sine theta values? Now I need y times sine theta. My y times sine theta equals to 2 times sine 0 because look, my y is 2, plug in y equals to 2 here because it is 2. Sine theta, theta equals to 0 here. So I will have 2 sine 0. Similarly, my y sine theta will be 4 times sine 90 because y value, y value is 4 here, so plug in 4 here for the y and theta is 90 here, so plug in theta equals to 90 here. For the third point, my y sine theta will be 7 times sine of 180 because my y value is 7, plug in 7 here for the y and theta is 180, plug in theta equals to 180. Similarly, my y sine theta for the fourth point will be 5 times sine of 270 because the value of y is 5 here. So plug in y equals to 5 here and theta is 270. I do the same thing for y times cos theta. y times cos theta for the first point will be 2 times cos of 0 because y equals to 2 and theta equals to 0. Similarly, y times cos theta for the second point will be 4 times cos of 90 because y equals to 4. So plug in y equals to 4 here and theta equals to 90. For the third point it will be 7 times cos of 180 because y equals to 7 and theta equals to 180. 
you have to look to this y times cos theta. You have to plug in y value here and theta value here. Y values are in this line. Theta values are here. Similarly, for the fourth point, I have 5 times cos of 270 because y equals to 5. Theta equals to 270. Now, summation of y is 18. Summation of y times sin theta equals to negative 1. Summation of y times cos theta equals to negative 5. Look, I put the direct summation of y times sin theta and direct summation of y times cos theta. If you take the calculator and find the value of 2 times sine of 0 and then add the value of 4 times sine of 90 plus 7 into sine of 180 plus 5 into sine of 270, if you add all those values, their summation will be negative 1. Similarly, when you find the value of 2 cos of 0 and then add the value of 4 cos of 90 and then add the value of 7 cos of 180 and then add the value of 5 cos of 270, when you add all those respective values by using calculator, their summation will be negative 5. Sigma y times cos theta means that the summation of all these values will be negative 5. Now I'm going to find the coefficient of the harmonic Fourier series. My s sub naught equals to 1 over n into sigma of y. So plug in the value of n and y, where my n equals to 4 and my y equals to 18. Look, my n equals to 4, not 3. Don't skip the 0. You have to start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my n. So my n equals to 4. But what is my sigma y? My sigma y is 18. So I'm going to plug in n equals to 4 and sigma y equals to 18 here. I will have 1 over 4 into 18, which equals to 4.5. This is going to be my a sub naught. Now to find a sub 1. The formula for a sub 1 is 2 over n into summation of y cos theta. Plug in the respective values, I will have 2 over 4 into negative 5. Because look, summation of y cos theta equals to negative 5 n equals to 4 here. Look, the number of points are 4. Don't skip the 0. Start from 0. So I will have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4 points. So plug in n equals to 4 and summation of y cos theta equals to negative 5 here to have 2 over 4 into negative 5. Summation of y cos theta equals to negative 5 and n equals to 4. It equals to negative 2.5. This is the value for the coefficient a sub 1. And now to find the value of coefficient b sub 1, so the formula of the b sub 1 is 2 over n into summation of y sine theta. Plug in the respective values to have 2 over 4 into negative 1. You can see here, summation of y sine theta equals to negative 1 and n equals to 4. So the number of points are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Plug in n equals to 4 and summation of y sine theta equals to negative 1 here to have 2 over 4 into negative 1. Plug in the summation of y sine theta equals to negative 1 and n equals to 4. So it equals to negative 0 0.5. This is going to be the value of coefficient b sub 1. Now to plug in all the coefficient values in the first harmonic Fourier series. Look, my first harmonic Fourier series was a sub naught plus a sub 1 cos theta plus b sub 1 sine theta. My a sub naught equals to 4.5. Plug in a sub naught equals to 4.5. Plug in a sub 1 equals to negative 2.5. There was plus, so plus times negative will be negative. Therefore, I have negative 2.5. This is the value for the coefficient a sub 1. For b sub 1, I have negative 0 0.5. So plug in b sub 1 equals to negative 0 0.5. I had plus here. So plus times negative will be negative. Therefore, I have negative 0 0.5. There, I got the final answer by doing harmonic analysis. But what about the amplitude? The formula of the amplitude is a sub 1 squared plus a equals to a sub 1 squared plus b sub 1 squared under root. Just plug in the value of a sub 1, which is negative 2.5. b sub 1 is negative 0 0.5. Take their squares, add them, and take their root. At the end, you will get the amplitude equals to 2.5. 2.5 will be the respective amplitude. 